Hello, welcome to Board Games with Neravans. Today it's time to do another of these monthly vlogs or updates and news for the channel. So um, we're heading into September. This is uh, just a few hours away right now as I'm shooting this. Uh, it's going to be fall, it's going to be winter in Sweden. That is not such a great thing, at least uh, if you ask me. And, and Draco, well, Draco likes the snow of course, but uh, yeah. So what should I talk about today? Well, first of all, um, I started a Patreon account. So uh, what is Patreon, you might ask? Well, it's a sort of a crowdfunding site. It has some similarities to uh, Kickstarter, but Patreon is more of an ongoing thing. So what I'm looking for really is, is basically just getting a steady income for the channel that will allow me to get better equipment, better camera, better sound system, um, you know, lights, all that stuff. Uh, I mean, I invested uh, a bit of, on my own, of my own money, of course, but it will really help out to get some support. So if you want to support the channel uh, by Patreon, uh, the way it works, I should mention this first if you, haven't, uh, if you aren't familiar with Patreon, the way it works is sort of you donate from PayPal or your credit card every month. But it's like you can stop doing it at any time, of course. So um, you can donate like one or two or three or four or five and, or even more. Uh, dollars per month and the good thing about patreon also is they only take five percent off so that's their fee and then i think paypal takes like one percent so i mean i get you know a big chunk of that um those dollars end up in equipment for the channel instead of just going in, in fees all around um so if you want to support the channel you can check the link up there for my patreon account uh, my patreon page or you can check the description down here as well. Any support is really appreciated. I mean, maybe you can just uh, spare a dollar or two. Uh, maybe you want to make, I mean, if you want to support me with like $10 once, then what you can do is just uh, enter 10 bucks there. And they draw that in, I think, in the beginning of the month. And then you can just uh, stop being a patron. And then I get those 10 bucks or at least 94% of them <laughs> anyway so that's a way to sort of if you don't like the whole concept of giving every month then you can just uh, do it for one month like that um, okay so that's patreon and I'm also going to like right now I'm going to ask you my viewers for some ideas because right now I just entered that if you if you give one dollar then you're going to be mentioned in the monthly vlog if you, uh, if you give five dollars, then you're going to be able to um, send, send, be contacted by me and have like a discussion about requesting a game that you want to see filmed. But perhaps there's some other things that you would like to have there. I mean, or maybe you have an, some ideas for me. What could I have as a sort of reward for my patrons? Uh, I mean, some people have like uh, some stuff, some videos and so on that are only available to the patrons. I don't want to have that. I mean, I want everyone to see my my uh, content. Uh, perhaps I could have, I mean, it's possible to have, so let's say there's a hot game out, I could release a video there like a few days ahead of the normal schedule just for the patrons. I don't know. What do you guys think? Uh, is, there, is there something you would like to see as a patron sort of reward? Uh, do you have any ideas for me? Tell me in the comment section down here. And, and uh, that's the support for the channel as well, it's helping me out in this. And of course, I mean, not everyone can spare money to support a YouTube channel, that, that's a given. Uh, so, I mean, every, every kind of support you give me in you know, sharing my videos with your friends, um, being a subscriber, just, I mean, just basically that. And, and of course, if, you know, this uh, commercial, I get like almost nothing, but I get a few bucks every month at least from YouTube. So when those commercials run in the, before the video or uh, after the video, just leave your phone or your computer on because then as the seconds tick by there, I get a few cents. So please do that. Please support the channel. I want to keep going and I will keep going anyway, of course, but I want to get better equipment. Um, I mean, I like, I think it works as it is now for me. I watch my own videos. It's not like I, I mean, I can hear what I'm saying, sort of with the microphone and everything. But I think I need better equipment to really uh, push the channel forward. So enough of that. Um, let's get into the normal stuff of the um, sort of monthly uh, update video. So during August, um, I, I had a, 
last time I did this, I got so confused between June and July. So this time it's easier because, you know, August, yeah. So during August, uh, we had all these games I'm mentioning, by the way, are going to be, uh, I can just post a few of them there. So the rest are going to be down in the description. So, Key vs. Cave Solo, uh, well, I think was the first one for August. That was a really fun, a really quick solo game. Uh, I wasn't that good at it, but I'll, I'll, I'll keep trying uh, when I get some spare time. So check that out, that was fun. And then I had one of my, well, basically my favorite thing to record so far on the channel, and that was uh, the Gaia Project. The, the follow up to Terra Mystica, that was so wonderful. I mean, I played the beta, beta testing during um, the spring together with some friends, and uh, then it was all you know, hish hish, you couldn't talk about the, the, the game. But then, just uh, at the beginning of there of August, I got an email from the from Foyland uh, just saying that, that now it's okay to talk about it and to film it and so on. So that was just so cool to be able to put that film out. I didn't think I would be able to do that uh, with the prototype. I thought I would have to wait for, for the final game. And it comes in uh, on Essen, so that's not that far away. So I'm really excited to see the final components and all that. It's quite expensive. I think it has a recommended price of like I don't know, $70 or $75. So I think there will be some really nice plastic uh, stuff in there, you know, all the buildings and all that. Now I do prefer the wood in, in Terra Mystica, but we'll see. It probably will look cool anyway. And it's gonna be fun to see how much they change from the beta and the prototype, so. So then let's go Nerushima Convoy was the um, next one there, the video I released. A uh, small card game, really fun to play a game. I uh, played with Max, and uh, really fun game. Uh, I can really recommend you check that out. I don't think it's not that known. I think a lot of people have, have missed this one. I did until Max showed it to me. So uh, uh, then we had Nations. Uh, Nations is a great game. It's a really heavy in some ways. It's not really heavy in the way it works. You can, I mean, you can learn how to play it, you know, pretty fast. But to figure out how to tackle all the events happening and all that can be quite uh, hard. And you can really, you can really struggle in that game. I love it. Uh, so Nations, you should check that one out. And I'm going to do Nations solo here in the future as well. Um, well, then we had uh, Spice Road. Um, Spice Road is kind of a new game. Uh, it reminds me a lot about, of uh, Splendor. But Spice Road, I think it's a better sort of version of it. Or, or I mean, I like, I like, I don't really like Splendor that much. Uh, I had fun with it a while, but I got tired of it, really. Um, I was playing it on the computer and such, also. Uh, but um, Spice Road, uh, I can recommend. That was cool. Um, pretty quick. I would say it's best with two people, because I like it as a filler, not as an all-night game, really. Uh, then I played and recorded Tribes, both a uh, run-through and a solo video here in August. Tribes is the new game from Rustin Hockenson that also did uh, Nations and Nations the Dice game, which is one of my favorite games of all time. Um, and uh, Tribes is really cool. I really like Tribes. I played it uh, yesterday on three players. Really fun. I uh, really like it. And I like it as a solo game as well. So check that out. Tribes is a really cool, hot, cool game. It's going to be, be sold at Essen here uh, as well. So you can pick it up there if you go there. Um, then I had, of course, and now here's the big thing. Terraforming Mars, Hellas and Elysium, finally got my hands on it. And this is quite a fun story actually, because I I tried to get it in all kinds of ways as soon as possible, because I wanted to, you know, both play it, but also make the video early. So uh, I've been in contact with, with Frick's games for, for a while. Uh, they're Swedes as well, so I mean, that's fun. And, um, and the thing was, they, they sort of... Um, they told me to, they were going to send me a copy. And so was it last week? Yeah, week before that. Uh, I was waiting for the copy. And you know, I thought, I mean, I knew it was just the board, but I still thought in my mind that I would have to, in Sweden, we have the postal service are like outsourced. So you go to your uh, uh, like daily food store and pick up uh, packages and send packages. It's a really bad system, but anyway, um, so they usually send out a, a you know a 
text message to tell you when when they got your package and you have you have to go there and, and, and show the message and so on. So I was waiting for that message on my phone. Like I mean, I was I was so sure they would come like that, and you know, the, it, it, it became you know I think it was yeah Monday uh, a week ago, and you know it was like one or two in the afternoon, and like in three, I was like, oh, it's not going to show up. It's too late. They're not. If it haven't haven't come by now, I'm going to have to wait one more day probably. But then I went out to check my mailbox, you know, my physical mailbox, and there it was. Uh, it's just so small, so it was in right in the mailbox. I didn't have to go and um, and, and cash it out or whatever it's called. Uh, I was so excited. I was like a you know a kid on on Christmas. <laughs> I just ran in, uh, just put it on the you know, wrap, although you know get the plastic off um, in that unboxing video, and you know uh, uh, I just you know had to check everything out at once, and I tried it uh, the same evening. And uh, yeah, really fun. I mean, it's, it it adds it it just, it's, doesn't sound like it should add that much to the games. Just two, you know, two new boards or one board, two sided. But it adds sort of with the new goals of the new achievements and the milestones. It makes it so that you start you start to think in different ways than you used to. For me, that was really good because I played it so much uh, uh, Terraforming Mars during you know the last months and you know, almost a year now that I was sort of starting to do the same thing the same strategy okay I got this corp okay I got these cards yeah I'll just go with them and now I have to rethink that I have to sort of hmm, so maybe I should need to build next to oceans now that's so different you know, <laughs> it sounds it doesn't sound like that much if you haven't played Terraform more then you you it's hard to imagine but really added a lot to the game and I'm so excited for the next one uh, Venus next which comes at SN Spiel as well uh, so I'm really hoping to get my hands on that one as soon as possible and uh, let's uh, continue here then we have the we had Saya a really fun game uh, Draco got to learn some space exploration from Max really fun he enjoyed it I enjoyed it and so on uh, I also did a video for Rhodes which is sort of a light weight euro game um reminds me a bit of panamax with the whole pushing boats into a canal even though panamax is a really heavy game um roads was fun I, I enjoyed it it's one of those games that i could imagine playing with sort of non-gamers um a gateway game basically and then we had port royale and this one i got sent to me from uh, lautapellit.fi or or Bredspil.se as it's called in Swedish um, they have these different branches so I think it's a Finnish company from the start and then they have Swedish and Danish um, you know uh, Dodo companies whatever it's called in English yeah uh, so uh, sort of sub 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 company perhaps I don't know okay Port Royale really cool game um, just a deck of cards but you have a push, push your luck system you have a sort of interaction with the other players and uh, at the same time, it's in sort of an engine building. You, you basically, you're a captain basically on a ship. You hire crew. The crew helps you get more money, and with that money, you can hire even more crew, and so on. And then you, whoever gets to twelve points first wins, and the game ends. Really cool game. Uh, check that out if you haven't. I'll put a link up there for Port Royal. And finally, this is going to be a long video. I realize that. Finally, we have Nations the Dice game solo. I played this solo uh, pretty much, I mean, uh, like a year ago I played it pretty much, but I had this, you know, I played it a bunch of times in a row, but now I haven't played it in, uh, in since then as a solo game, I played it with, with other people, but uh, really, really fun as a solo game as well, uh, it's one, I mean, I played it yesterday, it's, it's one of my favorite games of all time, I just love that little game, um, I mean, even more than Nations, even more than Tribes and so on, so uh, Nations the Dice game, um, yeah, check it out if you haven't. Uh, I, ha I have two videos for it, both the run through and the solo. But the run through was made at the beginning when I started the channel, so it's not the best quality, but you could, I mean, it works anyway. All right, so that was a lot of talking, and I'll just keep going. So I'll do this a bit quick here. During August, I played new games for me. Uh, I played uh, Rhodes, was new for me, Orleans, a uh, fun game. Um, you know, I liked it. 
I wanna play it again, but um, there was some things in Orleans that I was like, nah. I don't know, I just played it with two players. I, will, I, will, I wanna try it with more players. Uh, Spice Road was new for me. Uh, Hero Realms was new for me, and that one I really liked. Um, and then I played Tiny Epic Quest, which was kind of cool as well. I'm not a big fan of these tiny. I, I don't get the point, why should they be tiny? I mean, maybe in some circumstances where you need to have a small box. But, but I mean, I have a car, I have bags, I could have a bigger game. <laughs> I don't know, I don't get that part, but uh, I think, I, think of the, I, I played, what is it, Galaxies and Kingdoms, and Tiny Epic Quest was the best of those three. Uh, uh, it was really fun, I was really cool with the, putting the little sword on the meeple so they could hold the sword or a shield. That was kind of cool. But it was plastic meeples. I would have preferred uh, wooden meeples. With, I mean, you could have the holes there anyway and put the plastic swords in, I think. It would have been cooler. Uh, I don't know if there's any other game with plastic meeples. That was kind of weird. Uh, but anyway, that was Tiny Epic Quest. And, uh, but the best of month. The best of month is Hero Realms, for sure. Hero Realms, really cool card, ga card game. Um, I think it's like one to four people if you have two copies and all that. But I liked it as a two-play game, and I liked it a bit as a solo game. I'm going to post a video, with a solo video coming here in September, so you can check that out. But I'm really looking forward to it's going to be a uh, expansion release for it pretty soon, with a solo solo campaign. Really, uh, that's going to be cool. And uh, I like the system where you sort of you can you can expand the game, expand the game. But it's not like you're buying booster packs and you don't know what you'll get, like in Magic or, or other games. Uh, in this one, it's, it's uh, what's it called, living card game. So you buy a character and you buy like the, the mage, and then you know you get what cards you get for him or so. Uh, so that's cool. I like Star Realms as well. Um, so Hero Realms, I like even more because of the theme, really, and the different characters. In Star Realms, you're always the same, uh, you know. But in, in, in Hero Realms, I could be the. We start and you're the thief and then like we could switch around so you're the fighter and I'm the cleric and so on. I like that. It's a lot more variation and sort of having to find how am I supposed to beat the thief. That's different from just beating a generic uh, player. So that's that's a lot better than a store runs, I think. Uh, so check that out. And then finally, I'm going to talk a bit about September. I'm getting tired here because I've been talking so long. Uh, but in September, uh, if you're still here, hello, uh, thank you for watching, and so in September I'm going to shoot a lot of solo plays. We're going to have uh, Caverna, Viticulture Tuscany, Castellion, Hero Realms, Firefly, I haven't got around to play Firefly yet, uh, as I was planning to, but it's coming. And I'll also be doing a video that comes out uh, here uh, very soon for Castles of Caladay, which is going to be the game of the month for a lot of games, they're going to have a discount of 10% on that. I'm going to do a video of that one. It just feels really cool uh, so far. I just uh, looked a bit at it and it's sort of a, a tiling game. Uh, quick and easy, but it looks cool. And then uh, I'm also going to get my hands on Codenames Duet, which is sort of the co cooperative version of Codenames. So I'll, I'll be doing a video for that as well during September. And then I'm not really sure. It might show up some other stuff here. <laughs> uh, well, Ice Cool. I'm going to make a video for Ice Cool. Um, Kind of fun game, really kids game I think, but it was fun anyway. So finally I want to make a few shout outs before we end. Uh, so for, I'll just do this quick. So first of all we have John Gets Games, a uh, YouTuber, uh, makes reviews and playthroughs. Really cool guy, really good videos and really high quality as well. So check him out, John Gets Games here on YouTube. Uh, I'll put the link down there in the description as well. Um, then we have, of course, I want to mention lautapellet.fi that I'm now sort of cooperating with a bit, so that's really fun for me uh, to get some games sent to me that I can show you guys. And then we have Tea Time Productions, uh, the publisher of uh, Tribes. Uh, I think, it, yeah, it's their first game they published, so that's really good. I'm really looking forward to uh, having staying in contact with them. Uh, they've been really supportive so far, so. Uh, and then, of course, Fricks Games as well, publisher of Terraform Remorse. Uh, really cool guys, and I just want to mention them, just like make a little shout out, so. 
So thank you so much for watching this long, long update. And uh, I have to shorten this down for next month, I think. <laughs> Tell me in the comment section if you have any ideas for the channel. If you have any questions, if you have any, um, if you have any uh, marketing ideas, how could I uh, grow the channel? Tell me in the comment section. And please share the video with your friends and so on. And uh, also, I hope that you like my new commercial videos that I made with Raku, where he is on the playground and such, and having a, a lot of fun. And this, this short commercial clips that you've been seeing through this video as well. Be like Draco, follow Board Games with Niramas on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. You can find us at BGW Niramas. So, um, yeah, thank you for watching and have a great evening, morning or whenever you're watching this. Take care, bye bye. Do you want to keep this little dragon this happy all day long? Then like the video. Board Games with Niramas is sponsored by Alara Games in Sweden.